As a Minnesota staple returns to dinner tables, farmers say it didn't have an easy trip to your plate. Adam Duxter shares the battle against the elements and if it will make a difference this coming harvest. From the combine to the sorter, to the box, to the grocer, Dave Nathy knows sweet corn is hard work. And you have a, a window, you have to make your windows. And this year, well, the weather is the biggest thing because that's what makes a crop. Record rains made that work even harder. You had so much rain and uh, you had to put two weeks in a one or two days that you had time to work the ground. And he wasn't alone. We no longer have a normal year uh, anymore. U of M professor Bill Hutchison says rain put tens of thousands of acres of sweet corn in Minnesota in jeopardy. On the one hand, it's great that we now have rebuilt our soil moisture going forward uh, even, and for this summer. The challenge w really was just getting the corn planted. As for Nathy, even in year 44, at Riverside Farms in Elk River. And we had some places where it drowned it out, you know, but that's mother nature. You have to take what it's going to give you and work through it. He knows to expect the unexpected and do what it takes to deliver. When we've had good years, we've had our bad years. We've had it so bad where we got hailed out, you know, and thank the Lord we didn't, have, that didn't happen to us this year. Yeah, we struggled with water. We had almost 18 inches in May, you know, but we were able to get it going. In Elk River, Adam Duxter, WCCO News. Well, Hutchinson went on to say that more farmers are learning to cope with extreme swings in weather, which he says is a side effect of climate change's continued impact on us year after year. Well, a Minnesota Twins legend on the level of Tony Oliva is also headed to Cooperstown. Joe Maurer will be inducted into the Hall of Fame this weekend. Maurer spent 15 glittering seasons with the Twins. He grew up in St. Paul before being the first overall pick in the 2001 draft. He became the first catcher in MLB history to win three batting titles and went on to star in six All-Star games. He will be the fourth St. Paul native inducted into the Hall of Fame. A former executive with the Minnesota Twins has died at the age of 84. Pat Williams spent many years in the NBA and was also a chief advocate of bringing a Major League Baseball franchise to the city of Orlando. He got his start in sports via baseball, first as a minor league catcher and then as an executive. He moved to basketball with the Sixers in 1968 and spent 51 years in the league with the 76ers and the Magic. Well, new video tonight on vandals bashing their way into a faith-based community center. And this is far from the first time that this has happened. In the past two months, this building in St. Anthony has been targeted repeatedly. Windows shattered, multiple break-ins, about $20,000 worth of damage. Islamic leaders say they announced in May that a Muslim community youth center and mosque was being planned for the space, but they've been unable to open to the public due to the constant destruction. Minnesota leads the nation in attacks against mosques now for the past three years, and uh, these eight incidents of this particular mosque unfortunately appear to be at this moment a connection to the same type of behavior we've seen. Uh, so that's why we are concerned and are on edge. Well, since the announcement of the center back in May, police have five different open cases at this location, and that's just the ones they're actively investigating. Well, more startling numbers when it comes to back to school shopping. After the break, we have some advice to help you cut down on those costs.